In this tutorial, we are going to build a blog type application using Riot.js. So this is a finished version here of the app. And you can see there's a sidebar here over to the left. It shows the title for three different blog posts. And then if we click on a particular post title, it will load that blog post here into the right frame. Now, if you'd like to skip ahead and just see the finished code for how I built this, you can head over to github.com slash John Grover slash riot dash JS dash blogger. And you can download the source code here by just clicking this green button. I'm going to start out by opening up my terminal and here I'm going to navigate to the location on my computer where I'd like this project to live. And then here I'm going to make a new directory um, for my project. So I'm going to do the command MKDIR, a space, and then the name of the folder I'd like to create. Uh, in this case, I'm going to call this one riot-blogger. And then we're going to change directory into the riot blogger folder. Now to preview a Riot app in your browser, you're going to need to run a localhost server. And I'll leave a link and some instructions below the video on how you can do that. In my case, I installed Node and NPM, and then I installed a Node package called Live Server that will automatically reload itself anytime I make updates to a file. Now to do that, I'm going to create a new terminal window. And here I'm still in the same folder and I'm going to type the command to run my live server, which is just live dash server. And that's going to automatically launch a server in my default browser here. So you can see that I'm running on my localhost IP address at port 8080. So let's go ahead and create a few files. I'm going to go ahead and say touch index.html to create my index page. And additionally, I'll create some folders in here. So I'm going to create a folder called CSS. I'm also going to create a folder called JS for JavaScript. And I'm also going to create a folder called tag that will hold all of our Riot custom tags. Next, let's bring this up in our code editor. In my case, I'm using Atom, so I can simply say Atom dot from terminal. So let's go ahead and double click on the index page. And here I'm going to paste in the default HTML document structure. Now I've provided you with a snippet of code that you can refer to and this will be linked below the video. So you can just select all the code for index.html there, and then we're going to paste it here into our index file. So here you can see inside of the head section, we're linking to a custom style sheet. So let's jump back over to terminal and let's create that file. So we're gonna say touch CSS slash style.css and we'll jump back over to our GitHub gist and scroll down to where it says style.css and you can copy the CSS code snippet from there. And then we'll go ahead and paste it here inside of style.css and save. Next, we'd like to create a JavaScript file that's going to hold the information about all of our blog posts. So we'll jump back to terminal and we'll create a new application file called js slash app.js. And then we'll jump back over to Atom and open up the JS folder and we'll double click on app.js. Now, again, I provided you a code snippet that you can copy and paste, and that's gonna be in that same gist, and it will be under the app.js code here. So we're just gonna highlight everything there from line one, and we're going to copy it and jump back to our code editor, and we'll just paste that into line one there. So here you can see I'm creating a JavaScript variable called posts that will represent all of our blog posts, and it's set equal to an array. Now inside the posts array, each individual post is represented as an object that has a title and article key that refers to each individual post title or article text. Now we can jump back over to the index page and we can begin to create our layout. So the first thing I'd like to do is divide the page into two sections, and one of them is going to be a header element so here I'm just using the HTML5 semantic element header. And inside of it, we just want to have an H1 that has the title of our website, which is going to be called Riot Blogger. And below that, we'd like to have a custom navigation that's going to have a link for each individual post title. Now here in Riot, whenever you want to do something dynamic, you can simply create a new element that doesn't previously exist. So I wish that there was some sort of magical element called navigation that would just automatically create a link for each individual 
title of each blog post. So in order to do that, I can just name this element anything I'd like, and I'm gonna call my navigation. Now below our header, we would like to create a main element. So here I'm just using the HTML5 semantic element main. And this is where we're going to load our posts into. So whenever we click a particular post in our navigation, it should load that individual post inside the main section. Now inside of it, we're just going to put a placeholder element that's going to be replaced by each post. And this is just what the user will see when the page first loads. And inside of this paragraph, I'm just going to write, please select a post. Now, anytime we want to create a Riot component like this using a custom tag, we're going to create some template code in an external file. In our case, we're going to place this in the tag folder here. So let's jump back over to terminal and let's create a new file here inside the tag folder called navigation.html. Now we can name these files anything we want, but I find it's a good practice to name this template file the exact same name as our custom tag, and that way we don't get confused. So here inside the tag folder, we have that navigation.html, but we have to make Riot aware of where that particular custom tag file is. So in order to do that, we're going to create a script tag, and inside of it, we're going to give it a type of riot slash tag and we're going to point its source location toward our particular tag file which is in the tag folder slash navigation.html now after we link to any custom riot tags we also need to link to the riot.js library so i'll provide a link to this at the bottom of the video but I got it from cdnjs.com slash library slash riot. And the one we want to grab is the riot plus compiler.min. So we're going to go ahead and click copy there. And I will just paste that in. Now, lastly, we need to link to our app.js file here that has our post variable inside of it. So we'll create another script tag there. And we'll set its source location to js slash app.js. Now that Riot is aware of where that particular tag file is, we can go ahead and open up that tag file, which is navigation.html. And here we want to match that same custom tag name, which is navigation. So I'll create the opening and closing tags here for navigation. Now it's very important that these tags here inside of our template file match the location of where they're going to be rendered here inside of the index page. So this one's kind of saying, the navigation content will appear here, and this is linked to it via the same navigation tag here. Inside of the navigation, we would like to create a link for each individual post title. So here we would have the title of the post, and here inside the href, it should be you know, cluing in our app that we would like to load a particular post by its ID number. And an easy way to do that in Riot is to use its each iterator. And we can do that by typing each equals and then curly braces. Now here inside the curly braces, we simply give a name to each model inside of the array. And you can name this anything you want. Now, since I'm dealing with blog posts, I'm gonna call this iteration of each model post. And then we need to define our iterator. So I'm gonna just say i. For each time that we loop, this variable i is going to increment. And then we're going to say i in, and then the name of our JavaScript variable which is holding all of our posts. So remember over here in app.js, we have this variable called posts. That is our array that we're going to you know, loop over each individual post inside of it. And here we just give it that same variable name posts. Now in order to get this title for the post to actually update each time, what we do is we put in curly braces. And inside of the curly braces, now we have access to each individual post under this, this variable here called post. So we can simply say post.title, which here, again, title is the key which gives you the particular string for each post title. And now here under the href, we need to clue in Riot's router to change to a particular post based on its ID. Now an easy way to do that is we can simply say hashtag slash and we're going to say post slash, and then here we wanna dynamically pass in the different post number. So in order to do that, again, we use curly braces, and here we're just gonna say i, 
which refers to this incrementing or iterating number here. So the first time that we loop over the posts array, i will be equal to zero. The second time we loop over the posts array, i will be one. And the third time we loop over the posts array, i will be equal to two. Now one last thing we need to do in order to get Riot to actually render this custom tag into our HTML page is we need to mount that particular tag. So to do that, we're gonna jump back over to app.js and we can call riot.mount. And here you can put in the name of the tag. So here I'm just gonna say navigation, which is the name of our tag. And then we can save app.js. Now, if we inspect one of the links here, you can see that what Riot did for us is inside of our custom navigation tag, it's actually created an A tag or a link um, by iterating and looping over each individual post inside of our posts array. And it created a link for each one here and it said it's href equal to slash post slash and then the number or the ID of that particular post inside of our array. And here it's dynamically writing out the title of each individual post. And you can also see that when I click an individual post, it's changing the URL at the top here to hashtag slash post slash zero slash one or slash two. Now that's a good start, but now we'd like to have it set up so that whenever we click a particular post, Riot's router will automatically detect and load the appropriate post here inside of the main section. Let's start by jumping back over to index.html and let's create a new custom tag for this. So here we'll create a new script element. And again, we'll set its type equal to riot slash tag. And here we'll set its source equal to tag slash. And here I'll just call it post.html because it's going to represent an individual post. Now let's go ahead and create this file inside of our tag folder. So let's jump back over to terminal. And here we're going to go ahead and create tag slash post.html. And here inside of post.html, we'll start off by creating our own custom tag and we'll call this post. Now, what we'd like this to look like inside of here is we're going to have a level two heading and that's going to have, you know, like the title of our posts. And then below that, we would like to have uh, the article text will appear there in a paragraph. Now, but we would like Riot to dynamically change the title and the article text based on whichever post we're clicking on. So to do that, we're going to use the Riot router. So let's jump back into app.js. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to start up the Riot router and tell it to pay attention to this URL here at the top of the screen. So to start up the router, we simply call riot.route.start. And here we're going to pass it the value of true, which will make it immediately listen to the current URL. Next, we want to create a route that's going to handle the post IDs coming in. So to do that, we're going to say riot.route. And here the route method accepts two arguments. And the first argument is the particular route that it should be looking for in the URL. So this is going to be um, anything that's after the hashtag. So here we'll write slash post slash, and here we need to use the star symbol to indicate that this value is going to change. So sometimes this will be slash post slash zero. Sometimes it will be slash one or slash two, or you know, as whatever number that particular post ID is. The second argument here is a callback function that's going to run whenever the URL matches this particular post. Now, the way we pass the value for this star or this placeholder in, um, in, in other words, our ID for the post, is we simply label it as a parameter here in the function. And we could name this anything we like. I'm just going to call it ID because that's really what it is. It's the ID of a particular post. And then what we'd like to do is, similar to the way we mounted the navigation element inside of our HTML page, we basically want to remount our post element every time the user clicks to you know update to the next post. So here we're going to use mount again to mount each post by saying riot.mount. 
And here we're gonna give it more arguments. The first argument is the HTML element that we would like to sort of render this post or mount this post into. Now in our case, it's gonna be the main element here, which means that we're gonna replace this paragraph that says please select a post with the actual post that's gonna go in there. So in order to select that main element, we can simply say main. Now as a second argument, we need to refer to the particular tag that we would like to mount. So in this case, it's the post element here. So here we just give the name of that particular custom tag, which is post. And lastly, we need to pass in an object that's going to represent like any options or things that we'd like to dynamically update for each post. So here we wanna pass in the particular post within our posts array. And remember that we have access to that ID number here and it's being passed into the function under this parameter ID. So we can simply say ID here, and this will pass in the correct index number or the correct ID of that particular post. So Riot's going to pass this in as an options object into this particular custom tag. So in order to make use of that dynamic information, we're gonna replace our dummy content here with curly braces. And in order to access that, um, that object for each post, remember Riot passes it in under an object called ops, O-P-T-S, which stands for options. And then we're going to type in the key for the title. And same thing here for our paragraph. We can pass in options.article. So again, what's happening here, just to walk through one more time, is we dynamically rendered these links here and each individual link is going to point the URL at the top of the screen to the index number or the ID number of each individual post within the posts array. Whenever we click that link, Riot is listening for any changes to the URL up here. And then what it's doing is for the number at the end after post slash, it's passing that in as an ID. And then here we're saying, okay, Riot, now that there's been a change here, Let's go ahead and mount up the post element and we're gonna pass in this options object, which is the individual post based on the ID number in the URL. And we're going to render that or mount it into the main element in the index page here. So make sure you save all your files and then jump back over to the browser. And you can see now whenever we click a particular link, it's actually loading that corresponding post.